Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a battle between two very, very popular concealers. The idea for this video came to me last weekend when I was working on a client. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you may have seen that I had a client that I worked on six mornings in a row, from last Thursday to this past Tuesday. Every morning I went down and did her makeup. She comes in for a trade show twice a year, so she hires me, thankfully, very consistently every six months to come and do her makeup in the morning. So anyway, one of the mornings, uh, one of her friends was there as well and wanted her makeup done, so I did her makeup. And, you know, as to be expected, when you have a bunch of women doing hair, makeup, and just beautifying, a lot of times I, as a makeup artist, get a lot of questions. You know, what am I using for primer? What is my favorite concealer? What's my favorite mascara? Um, just a lot of questions, and I'm always very happy to answer them. So I had used Tarte's Shape Tape on both of them, and... They absolutely loved it, and I've said in many of my videos that it's one of my favorites, and they actually asked, I had been, was gonna be going to Ulta later that day, and they asked if I could go pick one up for them because they really wanted the color that I used, and Sephora doesn't carry it, it's only at Ulta. So I said, sure, I'll go pick them up for you. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were sold out like pretty much at every Ulta. I had no idea, the, the shelf was bare. So I felt bad. I told them, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't get it for them, but they ended up ordering it online. But the point is that they asked, also asked me, like, what's my second favorite concealer? What's another good one? And I told them about the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I think previous to the Shape Tape, that was like the hot one, the one to buy that everybody was talking about. And I really did like that. I do like that one too. So I thought for today's video, why not put them head to head? Like, see which one is really better. So I have no concealer on my eyes right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it for you now, and then I'm going to check in at the end of the day and tell you which one held up better. Did it settle into fine lines? Did the coverage stay? I've never done this. I'm anxious to see myself how this goes. If they're no different from one another, if one is better, I'm just curious myself. So this is for me as much as it is for you. So let's start with the shape tape. So this comes in a lot of different colors and I am in the shade light. Now if you're unfamiliar with this product, it has a very, very large applicator and it's highly concentrated. So I don't recommend doing what a lot of other YouTubers do, which is taking it and making like a big check mark underneath your eye because it will be able to cover your entire face that way and you don't want that. Especially if you have a more mature skin, you wanna make sure that you're not using too much because then it will just accentuate any concealer you use. If you use too much of it on a more mature skin with some fine lines, it's gonna accentuate those lines and it's gonna look worse. It's gonna draw negative, negative attention to the eye area. So what I do is I just take the tip of the applicator and my first dot is on the side of the nose because that is where we all have the thinnest skin and it's kind of that bluish purplish color that's not so attractive. So the second dot goes right here where most of us have that little indentation. So of course, anytime you wanna bring something forward, you add light to it. Then what I do is I take a damp beauty blender and the tip of it and I start blending out. So I still kind of make that inverted triangle, but I do it with the beauty blender and blending out the product. So then once I blend it into that inverted triangle, I pat it out. And then I just kind of keep bouncing the beauty blender under the eye. Now I know some people don't like a very bright under eye. I don't like when it's so bright that you can notice it in pictures. I think it looks a little silly to have that much lightness under the eye. I do like it to have a brightening effect, but there is a point where it turns too light and then it just looks kind of silly. So what I love about this concealer is that the coverage is absolutely amazing. For the little bit that you use, it really covered. What I also love is that it doesn't settle into these fine lines right here. So it brightens without feeling heavy and cakey and it doesn't settle into these lines. So. Now, in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I wear the shade Light to Vanilla. 
Now this one isn't nearly as concentrated, so I do use a little bit more. I still go into the inner corner, and with this one, I do cover kind of the entire under eye area. Now this is a little bit more yellow than the Shape Tape. Now to blend it out, I use the same technique. I use the tip of the sponge, I start in the inner corner of my eye, and I blend out and down, and then pat. Now, what I'm noticing, and as I said at the beginning of this video, I've never done this comparison before, so I am looking at this for the first time like you are, side by side, and um, I think this one has better coverage. I mean, just looking at it, I'm trying to like get in different lights because I know that can impact the way things look, but you know, it's not a major difference, but um, I definitely think the Shape Tape has more coverage. Like I personally want to take a little bit more of this uh, NARS and go back over this area right here. As far as consistency, they're pretty similar. I would say the NARS is a little bit less wet of a formula. The Shape Tape has more of a liquidy consistency, whereas the Radiant Creamy Concealer has more of a creamy consistency. I'm also feeling like the Shape Tape has more of a matte finish under the eye versus the Creamy has a little bit more of a kind of skin-like finish, I guess. So I think they actually both look pretty good, hence why they're my pretty much my favorite concealers, but let's see how they hold up throughout the day. I am gonna set them both with one of my favorite under eye powders, which is the Monica Dar C2. I've used this in a lot of my tutorials. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just setting the under eye with this. This is a great powder if you have more mature um, eyes because if you have any fine lines under there, it will not um, emphasize them. I found the Laura Mercier um, loose powder really makes my under eyes look very, very dry. So I recommend either this one or the Ben Nye Luxury Powder is also another good one for mature skin setting the under eye area. Or even if you don't have mature skin and you just have fine lines or dry under eyes, these powders are excellent. Okay, so once again, I have the NARS Radiant in Vanilla on this side, the Shape Tape in Light on this side, and I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. Okay guys, it is 9 p.m. I have had my face on for about 12 hours. I have been looking at my under eye area throughout the day so I could take mental notes of what I was seeing. And overall, throughout most of the day, I felt like they were very similar. I really couldn't tell that much of a difference between the two. I will say that, um, as I noticed in the application, that the Shape Tape did have a little bit more coverage, but it's not super noticeable. Now, when I was just upstairs in my room taking one last really close look in the mirror, it's hard to come across on camera, so you're just gonna have to kind of take my word for it. But the side that had the um, NARS is a little bit drier looking, which is funny because I said earlier that it's a creamier consistency, so you'd think that it wouldn't be as drying, but it definitely looks a little drier under this eye. And, um, it's settled a little bit more into my fine lines under here. And you know, the Shape Tape has a little bit of dryness too, but not as much. Um, overall, I just like the look of the Shape Tape side better. So there's not a huge difference where I would say that it's miles, that the Shape Tape is miles better than the NARS because I don't think so. Um, I think that if you can get the Shape Tape, um, it's a great, it's an excellent, excellent concealer. Um, but the NARS is a very close second. So in this concealer battle, the winner is the Tarte Shape Tape, but only by a hair. They are not that different. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. As I said earlier, this was as, as much for me as it was for you. I was just very curious to see what the differences were. And I plan to do more videos like this where I'll put two products up against each other, whether it be a foundation or a primer. So you guys feel free to let me know if you have any suggestions for products that you would like to see me 
put up against each other for a wear test throughout the day. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and Facebook. All of those are Risa Does Makeup and I'll see you guys in my next video.